collection is uneven. Their collections are, everything is wonderful. Um, and they had more money, and she resented that. <laughs> but that's not to say that Isabella didn't live up to the image. Her exquisite taste in the arts also applied to how she dressed herself, and to that end, she used the Paris Salon of the famous Worth. There was a, a very famous dressmaker in France uh, toward the end of the 19th century named Worth, W-O-R-T-H. Um, and, um, he, you know, he made beautiful dresses for, you know, for ladies. And, um, you know, you could go to Paris and you would go to Worth and order up dresses. And, you know, they would, they would make them to order. Um, and the style was much more advanced than... Uh, than, than, than uh, what, what ladies were wearing. Sargent, the most successful American portrait painter of his time, gained fame through his unique approach of capturing the inner life force of his sitters. But it was his notorious portrait of the sensual and audacious Madame X that most intrigued Belle. Rather than condemn the work, like most outraged Parisians, Isabella praised it and wanted her portrait done it's too. scandalous because, I mean, you know, you can see the cleavage. <laughs> um, you know, it was, it was not displayed, uh, you, know, or, you know, when it was first when it was first painted, it, it, it wasn't displayed, you know, prominently for people to see. Um, you know, people made jokes about it. Like what? Well, remember she had this relationship with Marion Crawford, with Frank Crawford? Um, yeah. And somebody, somebody said, uh, you know, he, he painted her all the way down to Crawford's Notch. You know, Crawford's Notch is, it's in New Hampshire. It's, and it was no accident that the similarities between the two seductive ladies would cause quite a stir. <laughs> 